morning, everybody. Rod J back to take a look at another beer. Today, I'm going to take a look at one that comes from Smutty Nose. It is Cluster's Last Stand. This is actually a collaboration that Smutty Nose had worked with Stone Bruin. Comes in at 8.6% ABV, 62 IBUs. It is an Imperial Double IPA. Now, there's not a date on the bottle, so I'm still hoping it's nice and fresh for us. A um, little information about this one. Stone and um, Smutty Nose work together to create just 30 barrels of Cluster's Last Stand. Um, they basically wanted to create an IPA that goes back to the After Prohibition Ballantine IPA, as was once mentioned in uh, Stone's Mitch Steele's book on IPA. So they kind of wanted to kick something back to around prohibition time when they got together so looking forward to see how this one does actually taste best glass recommended are usually a, a shaker or a tulip and i'm actually going to use a shaker and since it was a collaboration with stone i'm going to use my stone shaker glass so what else to be said about this one not really too much outside of that there's not too much more on the label give you a better shot of that there and I guess with this one, since they only make it, they made it that one time, I guess you could say it's a one time offering. So I guess kind of rare out there. If you've had it, I'd love to see any comments you may have had if you tried this beer. Smutty Nose does mention, come visit our brewery and restaurant at Tell Farm in Hampton, New Hampshire. And be sure to check us out online at smuttynose.com for upcoming events, new releases, and great merchandise in our e-store. And as always, thanks for saying, make mine a smutty. So, there we go. Outside of that, nothing really too much to do except let's pop it open and get it into a glass. Hey, how you doing? It's got a pretty cool little bottle cap too, if you can see that there. On the smutty nose, kind of cool looking. Put that into the collection. So we'll go ahead and get into a glass, go ahead and get the appearance, initial pour, definitely have slightly over a two finger head um, that poured out of that one, head's got some nice rockiness to it, some nice bubble action taking place there. On the beer itself, we get that golden, pretty much copperish type color. Do you see some carbonation taking place inside? Uh, carbonation looks to be pretty lively. Now we do have a haze on the beer, so you can't see it directly through. Only if you kind of put it to the light. So you're not going to be able to get through that cloudiness. Um, you know, really can't see through the other side as much. Probably about 80%, 90% cloudiness there. But to the light, you can definitely see the carbonation action taking place. Go ahead and get an aroma. What the hell is that smell? <laughs> wow, great smell and aroma. You have the earth and the pine coming right out of it. You have that dankness you would expect on an IPA. You get some of those citrus tones from the hops they use. Pretty much on point on what you would expect for an IPA there as far as the strength of it. I would say a good moderate um, aroma. Not having to take a deep inhalation to really get a lot of it out of, to get a lot of that out of the smell um, comes out of glass very nicely. So let's go ahead and now get a taste. Well, I do want to know what it tastes like. On the taste, first impression, you get a good amount of bitterness. You get what you would expect it to be on a IPA type product, but much like some of the ones that I relate to Stone, it's kind of got a smooth bitterness, not too overly hoppy, real smooth, um, sits on the tongue nicely. You get a nice mouthfeel sensation. As you swirl it around, you can just feel the flavors there. The duration of the, the taste itself is probably a good average duration, uh, nothing really lingering too much. No aftertaste, dry texture, actually uh, ends nice and crisp on the back end. No lingering bitterness or hoppiness there. Um, the carbonation itself, real smooth, nothing over carbonated about it. So it's very nicely in the mouth. 
you do get some of the taste of uh, that that fruit sensation as well um, from the hops that they use for the uh, the taste effect. You kind of have a swirl of those flavors as you are uh, taking a drink. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Wow, that's a nice collaboration. So I think overall, when you look at this one. I think this one, Cluster's Last Stand, I think Smutty Nose and um, Stone came together very nicely on this collaboration. It favors more to what I've had with some of the other Stone IPA, so if you're a Stone fan, I think you would enjoy this one. Not sure how many of these are left out there because it was a limited batch that was made. Um, I ended up getting this one because the people I usually deal with they get a lot of uh, closeout things that come in from so many other warehouses and they had just got a few of these that came in and happened to be there at the right place at the right time and actually picked it up. So I know that on Untapped, I know it was added back July 20, 2013. And this is where it also gets into talking about some of the beers and how long can a beer really last out there if it's cellared. If these beers came out in 2013, and they were still selling and they were selling properly. We're looking here beginning of October of 2015, so a two year period. And this one still has a good amount of hops, a good amount of taste, a good amount of flavoring. And people tend to say, well, you can't hold an IBA, an IPA for that long. Usually when you sell her a beer, you can sell her a beer over 8% ABV um, is usually the recommendation. Usually you do with them um, some of the like brown type ales, dark type ales, porter, stousing along those lines. But occasionally you can get an IPA that will last that long. Um, this one is not flat. It's not any lack of hops in there. I'm curious what it would be if it was fresh, but even at this stage, it still has a good IPA taste. So just something to keep in mind as you see things out there about some of the beers. A lot of times you don't know until you actually experiment with the beer yourself. But with that being said, I think this is a pretty good one. If you have had this one, let me know. Put some comments, like I said, in the comments section. Love to see your feedback. Again, that's Cluster's Last Stand. I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this one. The football game's on, so I want to get back to that. Appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. and hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Does this guy know how to party or what?